Hey, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's nail art tutorial, Julie will be showing you how to create five minimalist nail art designs that are perfect for fall. Hey, it's Julie. Now let's jump right on into the video. Before we get started with our fall floral nail looks, you want to begin with a base coat. This is going to protect your natural nails against staining and help your manicure last longer. For the first floral look, I'll be using this beige polish and I'm creating a half circle on one corner of my nail. Then with a mustard shade of polish, I'm going to create sort of like a B shape on the other side of my nail. This look is intended to be abstract, so you can do this however you want in any colors you'd like. Next, I'll be using a shade of black and a long liner brush to create sort of like a fern grain leaf pattern over top of that abstract print we just made. You can do as many of these or as little of these as you want. I think one is nice and minimal and gives you such a cool abstract fall floral look. Finish with top coat, you can do shiny or I especially love to do matte in the fall time. For the next look, I'll be applying two coats of this gorgeous mossy green polish to my nail and letting it totally dry. Using that beige polish from the previous nail and a small detail brush, I'm gonna create some brush stroke flowers. To do this, you load up your brush with the polish and create some petals, but as the brush runs out of the product, don't refill it. I think it looks especially good if the petals are a little bit transparent in some places. It gives it almost like a watercolor effect. Then I'm just going to add a dot of gold metallic polish to the centers of the flowers and I decided to add a few dots in the empty spaces of this design and then I'm going to finish with top coat. The next design will be done over top of a naked nail, but I always like to apply a layer of sheer milky polish just to make my natural nails look a little bit better. Now grab two of your favorite autumnal shades and we're gonna use this to create a really simple flower pattern. And I think this design looks especially pretty if you do keep it minimal. So I only did two basic flowers and then I added a dot of mustard to the center. Now I'm going to show you how to create a really intricate floral design that looks a lot harder than it is. I'm going to start with this base color, but you can pick any color you want for this look. Give the base polish plenty of time to dry, and now I want you to pick an accent color. I'm using this mustard shade, and I'm also going to use a long liner brush to create some long stems across my nail. You can do this in any direction that you'd like. You can add a few, and then you're going to use a small detail brush and create small little clusters of dots. This represents some little flower buds, but they're so tiny you don't really see any specific detail, but the overall look is so intricate. Then add some leaves to the stems to fill in the areas and you can even add some leaves coming in off of your nail for a more full pattern. And then I added a few more dots just to fill in empty spaces. For the final floral look, I'll be starting with this pale mustard shade of polish. I applied two coats and I let it completely dry. Next, I'll be using a large dotting tool and white polish to create some five petal flowers on this nail. I only did three on this nail, but you can do as many as you want. Just make sure they have plenty of space in between them because we are going to add some leaves. Thank you. 
Once the white flowers have dried, you can add a dot of yellow to the center of each of them. Now for the leaves, I'm gonna use this dusty navy shade of polish. I really love the look of navy or gray with a yellow mustard tone, especially during autumn. So I'm gonna use this to create some leaves and you can do this any way you'd like. I'm doing just basic leaf shapes and I'm gonna do clusters of them on one side of the flower and maybe a single leaf on the other side. And then I did do some leaves coming in off the edges of my nail to fill in that pattern. Allow your floral details plenty of time to dry, and then you can finish with your favorite matte or shiny top coat. And there you have five minimal floral designs that are gonna be perfect for the fall time. To watch more cute polish videos like this, you can click these boxes on your screen here, and be sure to click the circle to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week. And if you'd like to check out my personal nail channel, you can click on that circle there. As always, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time, bye.